Check, check. All right. Let's see how this goes. Welcome to whoever might be watching. This is Shabby Lou. Shall Shabby Lou? Shabby Lou? Shabby Lou? Shabby Lou sounds. Shabby Lou sounds. Okay. Me 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 me. Just kidding. 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 Me 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 me. 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 Okay, take 55,000. <laughs> if you ever saw one of my earlier videos, my earlier vlogs, you'll know where that's from. I don't remember. I just know it snuck into something that I made, and now it plays over and over in my head. Anyway, here's my promo for <laughs> my big old, my big old thing to, I, God, I was doing so well in the first one, in the first take, second take, whatever take. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Savvy Lou Sounds. I am a musician and a streamer and a writer and an artist and a vlogger and a digital media creator and I don't know. I, I make content, mostly Instagram because it's quick and easy while I'm laying in bed lacking all energy because of my CPTSD and scoliosis. Anyway, I was just laid off. <laughs> I was just laid off. For anyone who doesn't know um, out there in the world, I feel like I've told everyone that cares. <laughs> but um, I was just laid off two weeks ago on the 12th of January, two days after my birthday. And they promised they would pay me five days of PTO, which I had already asked for, and then two weeks severance. They did it. <laughs> so I'm kind of screwed for rent, but um, I'm excited about tomorrow because um, as I was saying in my first take, which I might s stick in here, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but anyway, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't plan these things. You know, I just kind of talk at the, I, I just con kind of talk. I talk and I go on and on. But anyway, um, I started my podcast Monday Mingle um, almost two years ago now. Um, a few weeks after my stream anniversary two years ago, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting for people <laughs> to do a podcast with me. I'm just going to do my own. And at the time, my my ex-coworker, um, Megan, she joined me for a few episodes um, and then her life exploded. And she wasn't able to stay with me the whole time. Um, but along the way, I've I've made another friend who offered co-hosts, co-hosted a few episodes as well. And then um, it's mostly been just me and guest speakers here and there. Um, my bunny passed away last year. My emotional support bunny. Um, I'll show you guys. Well, she's in. She's there. She's right there. there there's her again and that's that's her that's her cremains right there she takes she watches over me <laughs> um anyway um she passed away and then i kind of like fell off the train of existing <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to explain it but um last week on the what is it 26 I, I don't i miss having a calendar and i can't afford one right now um on the 23rd, I had my new friend, Davey, on the show. It was a great show. Um, and meanwhile, that was going on. Um, um, <laughs> this YouTuber that I have um, looked up to for as long as I can remember. I don't remember when I started watching him. Um, I remember I found him because of, I think, like Shane Dawson videos and Jeffree Star videos, like, because I, I used to watch all of those, because I used to follow them, and then, you know, I, I liked learning about um, the art style of um, makeup and stuff. Uh, it was something I don't know anything about. 
<laughs> and I wanted to learn. Uh, and, you know, I got hooked into all the drama of stuff and his videos were very, um, uh, I can't, I'm struggling for words cause I just started my period. I've had brain fog for two weeks. <laughs> what are words? I don't know. Um, but his, his videos are always very well thought out. Um, he makes valid points that aren't like tearing people down or anything like that. So, um, they stood out from all the other drama videos. Not that like I really watched a lot of drama videos that people tear at anyone down, but it was like, it, it didn't seem catty. It didn't seem like anyone was taking sides, which was so hard when, you know, a lot of, a lot of channels that do drama stuff, they'll like befriend other creators that are in the circle and then things happen and then, you know, they're, they're forced to take sides publicly and you know, you know how YouTube viewers are. But anyway, the whole point is, <laughs> um, I saw a few of those. I think that's what led me to his channel or recommended his channel. Um, I don't remember if it was a Shane Dawson video specifically that I first saw. But I do remember vividly that he was doing reviews of these corny Christmas <laughs> movies that um, mom and I used to watch them all the time um, on this channel called Ion. It's a free channel in my city. Um, I don't know if it's a nationwide thing. I don't know. But every Christmas, they they do them every single weekend. And they're just like Hallmark videos or Hallmark movies. Um, like TV movies, but, um, they're not Hallmark, they're, they're Ion, <laughs> and, um, positively entertaining. But anyway, I remember, like, sending him a DM, and I was like, hey, you should, like, review these Ion movies, because I think they're hilarious. <laughs> um, but, uh, anyway, as I, as I've kept watching and everything, um, I never thought that, tomorrow, what's going to happen tomorrow, would be happening. So I'm super excited. Um, he seems so humble and so kind. And um, it's it, it all happened because he tweeted, like, this little meme he made of himself. Like, I'll, I'll probably put a screenshot or something around here. Um, but <laughs> it was something like... Um, I want to be in your podcast. And he was like, if you've asked me before, I probably forgot or something. And then just um, following my journey in mental health and putting myself out there and um, putting out what I actually care about and what I really want in the world, I put it out there. And I was like, um, I'd love for you to be on my podcast. And then I was mostly joking and I was like, hashtag notice me senpai. And I'll, I'll I mean, I have a screenshot of the whole tweet I did. Um, and <laughs> I like made a typo and then felt really embarrassed that I made a typo and didn't notice. And then I was like, oh, chances failed. And then, um, he replied and sent me a DM. And then, um, two weeks later, here we are tomorrow. It's going to happen. Um, he's going to be on my, my, podcast that um, I have felt like would never um, have something like this happen. And when I started, I thought, I thought I would give up long before now. Um, it's been hard because a lot of times I think I'm too boring or that I'm <laughs> like self-involved because I'm like, why would anyone ever want to listen to me about my life and my mental health journey? I'm just, I'm not, you know, I'm not some sort of published author. I'm not some sort of therapist who has like plethora and plethora of knowledge like Dr. Romani or this new, um, this new uh, therapist that I found, um, Dr. Clayton, or even like Dr. Tehan that I love watching on YouTube, you know, um, I'm, I'm just a girl who um, had childhood trauma and <laughs> um, struggles with believing in herself and struggles with um, her music because music was the one thing that was like just kept out of my reach, you know, like a lot of things. And um, anyway, <laughs> before I keep going and get all emotional and go off on some random tangent. 
um i thought you know when i started monday mingle i thought i'd give up um within a couple months or if i didn't have a co-host that people would get bored and um that hasn't happened and now now it feels like something huge is happening and I told all my friends, you know, because my friends are like, oh, you're going to have like this huge following because of him and da da da. And I was like, I, I don't know about all that, but I'm so blessed with the opportunity to get to know a creator that I have um, looked up to for a long time because um, what he does with his channel means a lot to me. Um, he's always very, um, I don't know what the words are. Again, I'm having brain fog, but. Um, things that are important to me are like using your art and your platform, your voice to make as much of a difference as you can. Whatever's within your grasp, whatever's in your power, we all have a voice that matters. And he often talks about things that matter to him, you know, um, the rights of, you know, minorities and marginalized people, the rights of, um, people suffering through poverty, the rights of, you know, the LGBTQ community. And I guarantee it's not just because he's part of the community, but because he cares about, um, he cares about the injustice in the world that there is, you know, and I know that a lot of like progressive people get marked as like, you know, social justice warriors and that you know, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I used to have hang out with a lot of right-wing paper, people, so I've heard all of it, you know, we're all special snowflakes, and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, um, I don't think any of his ideas are, you know, completely off the wall or hateful or anything. I do believe that he's trying to improve the world for not just himself, but for everyone. And um, that's something I admire. And, and people. And um, I know a lot of creators who are just as big or near as big and they don't take the time to think of like everyone else that doesn't have what they have. Or they don't take the time to think of um, the fact that there are people suffering in the world that deserve to have, you know, goodness in their life that they don't have, you know. So, um, I'm just, I'm really excited to get to know him and, um, just have a, a cool conversation. So, um, that's what I'm looking forward to. And this is my official announcement of it. Um, and I'll be, you know, putting in the little promo thingy I made for the little promo art and stuff. And, um, yeah, this is vlog number whatever, 30 something, I think. I don't know. I started this channel seven years ago. <laughs> And I still haven't reached even a hundred people to have it, you know, an easy channel name. And my music channel hasn't grown either. But um, this feels like a very important moment for me as a human being. So I'm excited. And um, we'll see if I, like, <laughs> if I record one of these after... Um, I'm kind of freaking out about my life in general because, as I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it in this take or not, but I've I've been laid off from my job um, on the 12th of this month, which is like two days after my birthday, and I can't make rent, so I'm freaking out about that, and um, I feel like that's just taking over everything right now, um, even though I have this huge opportunity to work on my brand, um, to create content for my, my Kofi, and, um, I just, I have so much that I could do with this time, but I'm stuck here worrying about having shelter and food and losing my emotional support bunny and my mom suffering through, you know, homelessness, but... Anyway, I, I hate talking about it because I feel like I'm trying to, like, manipulate people into helping me, but, you know, if I don't stand up for myself, then no one will, you know? So, I'm just going to put it out there, and, um, 
I just wish I wasn't consumed by all of this fear and um, everything. But I've got some amazing friends in my life who are very supportive and they're doing what they can to help me. Um, so I'm hoping that by the 3rd of February everything will be fine and then that by March I'll find some other means of income um, that will also give me room to be myself because that's something I haven't had um, with any other job and it, it makes my mental health suffer like horribly so and I can't even explain because uh, I don't even have the cognitive function to explain everything that I know um, as my reality but anyway um, thank you for listening I wish you all love and peace and healing and um yeah tune in tomorrow 24 hours from the moment i'm recording this <laughs> which is right now it's nine o'clock est uh on sunday night tomorrow monday mingle nine o'clock um on my twitch channel i'll put a link in the description the link's always in the description it's part of my like pre pre-made thingy but anyway um, thank you so much to Nick um, for giving me this opportunity to just chit chat with you about mental health and I'll end up tagging you and stuff. <laughs> so uh, I feel weird. I feel like I'm using people. I, I, I'm not trying to. I'm very excited. Um, this is like my first collab. I don't know. <laughs> um, for you, those of you that don't know about my podcast and everything, I record it live on Twitch. And then I uploaded edited version. <laughs> I uploaded edited version of it to this channel that you're gonna see this video on. So please like, subscribe, all that stuff that people usually say that I'm usually scared to even ask people to do because it feels like I'm asking too much because I'm asking for people to support me, and that's a huge trigger. So I'm probably gonna have a heart attack after I finish recording this and editing it and everything but anyway <laughs> i'm sorry i'm long-winded okay it's just part of who i am <laughs> anyway again thank you for listening um and yeah i'm excited about tomorrow <laughs> i don't know what else to say um anyway i'm gonna stop now i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop okay I forgot. I keep having bunny hairs on my lips. Anyway, I forgot one essential thing that you should all know. If you support me monthly on Ko-fi, which there'll be a link to that as well, then you get access to exclusive content, including, but not limited to, um, all the unedited parts of the podcast. So, eventually... <laughs> It's, it's only since seasons two started and I'm, I'm a wee bit behind, but I will get there eventually. Eventually. I need another hard drive that I was going to buy before I got laid off. But anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point of this right now. <laughs> the point is, if you support me monthly on Ko-fi, then you get access to limited content like the rest of the podcast. Excuse me that only people who are live on Twitch get to see, um, or my Ko-fi supporters. So support me on Ko-fi. I'll put the link around here somewhere or in the description for sure. If I, if I, if I remember how cards work and all that stuff, I, I don't think I do usually. <laughs> I, I, everything's changed since I started this channel. <laughs> There's so many more new things that I keep forgetting about, and I, I don't plan, so, and I hate this eye, eyebrow. This eyebrow always goes like this, and it drives me nuts. I don't know how to fix it. Anyway. It distracts me when I look at myself. <laughs> Alright, bye now. Bye-bye. Welcome! My name is Savvy Lou Sounds. This is a vlog. Vlog number, I don't know what. I don't know what, because I'm not consistent enough with these to remember anything. But right now, right now, I might be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. For my, um, hold on. Am I synced up? I don't even know. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Anyway, let's start the video. <laughs> <coughs> You know, I haven't done a mic check. Hold on.